Okay. Well, I'm Ed. Um, I'm an engineer at, at the heart of it. I, I wouldn't call myself a woodworker, but I like to build things. Um, historically, I would just dig in, right? I would, I would build stuff with power tools, stuff like that. And uh, the opportunity to start playing with CNC is right up my alley. Uh, especially since my background as an engineer is programming. And uh, it's really let me uh, take uh, sort of the things I do really well from the computer side into like a woodworking side. I started with zero experience with CNC milling aside from knowing what a CNC machine was. Um, seeing uh, a couple people on YouTube use them, thinking they're cool, thinking they're completely out of reach of my budget. Um, and uh, I do have experience in, in motion control in large machines, uh, but nothing with CNC milling. I ended up getting a long mill uh, because I looked around, I'd seen YouTubers who had uh, different CNC machines. They, I looked at the pricing of them. They were outside my, my budget. They were outside of what I would really consider. And the uh, value and performance of the machine uh, was really fantastic. And uh, it was great to be able to interact with uh, the people at, at CNC and, and uh, get to meet the people who are, who are doing this. For me, I think my expectation was to be able to uh, turn my straight line drafting into accurate cuts, accurate designs. Um, the, 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 I'm not much of an artist, I'm more of a, a, a designer type. Uh, and then the interesting thing is it has uh, sort of adapted and allowed me to see that I can, I can get into a bit more uh, things that I can't do freehand. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, a, I can't sketch. Um, it, it sort of translates uh, some of my visions into uh, and, uh, something real, something really physical. So I chose the long mill over other machines. Uh, predominantly the uh, combination of the value and the opportunity. Um, the, it, uh, it was something I wanted to get into with CNC and uh, the long mill just really hit the nail on the head for that. So, so far my experience with using the long mill has been fantastic. Um, it has been the type of learning experience that I, I wanted because I, I like to really know what I'm doing deeply. Uh, on top of being a, a great experience in terms of translating ideas to reality. Um, and so it's, it's really done a great job for that. So before having access to a CNC machine, if I wanted to build something, it would be hand tools or hand power tools. Um, I wouldn't call myself a woodworker as much as a, a weekend warrior if you build a deck, build a shed sort of thing, uh, and just put up with the level of imprecision of building a deck or a shed. Uh, I love the precision of a CNC machine. It just opens so many doors that way. So for me, I really would consider this machine to be perfect for a few different categories of builder, essentially. Uh, the engineer who's familiar with building things, but not necessarily with woodworking, like myself. Um, a woodworker who's familiar with woodworking, but isn't necessarily familiar with uh, 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 running a, a computer and a, a computerized machine. Um, and, and fundamentally, I, I would say, somebody who wants to uh, understand and, and connect with how they can make things really precisely. I think the thing that I want to really share is that the, the it's been a journey and the machine is a big part of it, uh, but there's a lot that goes into it also in the workflow, in, in drafting something up, in, I, I like to use Fusion, uh, in uh, understanding tool changes, in, in pushing your boundaries. And I think one thing I would really like to say is, uh, it's worth 
going far. It's worth trying tiling. It's worth trying complicated things. It's worth going pushing. I, I dove right into the deep end with it and it was a lot of fun.